Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this tasty omena wet fry. So to start off, sort out your omenas, um, remove any bad ones. Once that is done, boil your omenas really, really well. And once that is done as well, you rinse your omenas severally. You can use cold water. I prefer uh, rinsing my omenas with hot water two to three times. Once that is done, I return them back to the sulfuria or on medium heat so that the water completely dries off. This will help your omenas not to break or have them soggy when you are doing the wet fry for them. So please, if you can, do not skip this step. Dry your omenas a little bit. It makes your work easier. So as the omena dry, I'll go ahead and show you the ingredients that I'll be using for this recipe. So for my ingredients, I have chopped onions, chopped coriander, tomatoes and paprika. The spices are all optional. If you do not use spices, you can leave them out. So I have some royco, cumin and paprika and of course some salt, all which are one teaspoon. Then go ahead to heat your pan or sufuria with some oil. Then add your onions and let them cook until they are golden brown. Once that is done, this is the point where you add in the omenas which have dried and it's sort of like shallow frying them and that's why I was saying it's good to dry them so that when you put them here with the oil it sort of uh, gives it this nice golden brown and it fries really well with the oil and like when it's wet so we've seen I've added some salt so you add some salt so that it cooks with it really well and adds the flavor once it's golden brown and the omenas are well cooked go ahead to add in your tomatoes and paprika i also prefer to add my spices at this point so that they can cook well with the vegetables So go ahead to cover your omena. Um, this recipe has been passed down from my grandmother and great grandmother to all the generations in our family. And of course, during the old days, they did not use spices, but this is how we do it in the lake region. And so I love this and anyone who's eaten my omena always love how it tastes and how i have done it so the tomatoes have cooked some are not well cooked so i'm just going to cover them and let them just cook for about another one minute so that they're completely broken down once that is done uh, the final step is to add the coriander So once the tomatoes are well cooked, add your coriander at last and let it just cook for about 20 seconds. Then the omena is ready to serve. I love to serve mine with some lemon or some lime and I squeeze the lemon juice onto the omena. It adds this you know, tangy, nice flavor to the omena and it's really, really good. Um, I also have a video that I did of the omena that is with the stew and how we make it by adding some milk. That is my favorite version of omena, so check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well. If you haven't, I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.